Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockheiner. Today's story is Sextortion Scam Spam. This story actually comes from an acquaintance of mine that actually got this email, but since then I've seen a big growth in this type of scam email leveraging people's fear of sextortion. First of all, sextortion is a word for a type of hacking where a bad guy takes control of your webcam, tries to get you to do some things you'd rather not, and then uses that to extort you to do other things or maybe ask you for money. In any case, someone I know got a very interesting email. The subject of this email actually contained one of the victim's old passwords. The email basically started by saying, you don't know me, but this is your password. Uh, and then it goes on to explain how the attacker allegedly got the password. Uh, the scammer claims they got the password from putting malware on a pornographic site, which they allege that you went to. Uh, they used that malware to take control of your computer and to monitor your webcam, and they claim that they actually have video of you doing things while you are at that particular pornographic website. Now, the good news about this entire thing is it is a scam. This attacker does not have malware on your computer. That's not to say your computer's clean for sure, maybe you got malware some other way, but this attacker does not have control of your computer. Rather, these attackers are using one of the passwords stolen in one of the massive password database breaches like Yahoo or LinkedIn. It could be one of the clear text passwords that was found in the 1.4 billion password file on the dark web uh, earlier this year. The attacker is using that password to try to add some legitimacy to their email and try to socially engineer you or to freak you out because they seem to have something that is private to you. However, if you weren't aware that your password was stolen in a database breach, this is probably proof that you were one of the victims of these stolen passwords. Anyways, the rest of the email goes on to try to extort you, to try to scare you into paying money anywhere from 12 1200 to 1900 uh, dollars in cryptocurrency to a particular Bitcoin wallet. But you don't have to worry about this. While the attacker does maybe have a password, uh, hopefully this is a password you changed from one of the password breaches. While they do have that password, they do not have malware on your computer. This is all a scam to try to scare you into giving them money. That said, if, if your password being out there is news to you, if you haven't changed that password and that's actually a real active password, you definitely need to go change your password on every single website that uses it. Anyways, besides one of my acquaintances getting this particular nasty email, there's some news of more and more victims getting this email as well. In fact, this particular acquaintance got the email at least twice, although they got slightly different variants of it. So it seems that scammers are spamming this out to many people. In fact, there's a great Reddit thread on this on the scam subchannel on Reddit, where apparently this started over a month ago and there's many different types of variants. So this seems to be something spammers are sharing with each other, a new technique. They all have slightly different language, but they're all doing the same thing. They take something that's really yours, like a password from one of these database breaches, or email or some other personal information, and they use that tidbit just to make their uh, email more convincing, more legitimate. But the truth is they don't have any video of you. They probably haven't hacked your computer or got malware on it. By the way, I will say I really, really hate this type of hacking. Anything that has to do with sextortion where people literally do record your webcam, or even these jerks that pretend that they've recorded your webcam to extort you, in my opinion, there really is no lower form of hacking hacker, no grosser human out there than the type of jerk that leverages this type of thing. So it really is a, a gross type of attack I wish wouldn't happen. That said, if you're one of the ones that got this type of email and saw your password and got worried, you can at least rest assured that the attacker does not have control of your computer and they don't have a video of you doing anything embarrassing. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.